Okay, good day. Hi, I'm Donny De Los Santos from uh, Manila Med. I'm the president here. And uh, I'd just like to introduce to all of you this hospital, formerly Medical Center Manila, which is one of the prime hospitals um, for the many decades ago because we're right beside PGH. So you can say we have some of the best doctors also practicing here, no? And just recently, uh, we became part of the Mount Grace Hospital Network, which is a group of 10 hospitals at the moment, mm -hmm. all around Manila and outside Manila, mm -hmm. no? as far as Nueva Ecija in the east, as far as Pampanga in the south, and uh, uh, Pampanga in the north, and in the south as far as Lipa. No? So mm -hmm. we're part of this, we're fortunate to be part of this, this group. And I'm proud to say Manila Med is one of the bigger hospitals in the group. No? Mm -hmm. So the past three years, um, We've been running the new Manila Med. As you can see, the facilities now, it's been highly updated. And I'm also proud to say that we have one of the latest and uh, most modern medical facilities. And now I'm very excited also, especially for women like you, I'm very excited that um, we're going to be launching our new delivery room uh, maybe by March. Mm -hmm. you know? And it's a way that to show that we're committed in um, focusing on women's health. We already have a women's health center, which focuses on any issues women have from fertility, all the way around now from cancer, no? things mm -hmm. like that. We have one facility just for that. And with the new delivery room, it completes the whole uh, women's package. Okay. So we're very excited to, to pro present that to, to, to all of you. How many beds do you have in this hospital? Well, we're a 212-bed hospital. We're, we can actually cater to 250, but um, we registered first as 212 beds. So for Philippine standards in private hospitals, that's like above average, yes. above average in size. Mm -hmm. no? So uh, out of the 10 hospitals of Mount Grace, we're probably the biggest mm -hmm. right now in terms of beds. Okay. Sir, let's talk about yung bago yung ang, uh, for the OBs and mm -hmm. ano. So how modernized would be the facility? Well, first of all, it's going to be very new. Mm -hmm. It's going to be with the latest in uh, typical uh, delivery room facilities, no, equipments. But one thing we're really pushing is the minimally invasive surgeries. We, mm -hmm. we have these, uh, what we call, um, scopes or uh, machines that if, if you need gynecological cases, uh, the least um, invasive the least invasive procedures can be done here, you know? Mm -hmm. um, that's one, so we're, we're up to date with the minimal invasive procedures. And of course, we're trying to attract all the new trends in, in maternity care, you know? like, you know, there's, there's a lot of, there's lamas, we might mm -hmm. have a room for things like that. Mm -hmm. we, we might have what we call a uh, labor, labor delivery recovery room, where okay. in one room you can have your labor, your delivery, and your recovery there. You don't have okay. to transfer from well, one room, room to another to a patient room. Though. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. How about the prices? Uh, the prices, mm. well, what's nice with the Manila Med is we're priced at the, um, despite the fact we give top class mm -hmm. healthcare, I'd say we're priced at the middle range. Mm -hmm. you know? So it's like you're getting the facilities of a world-class hospital, but the price on local, local market. Talaga. So we accept all HMOs and uh, I'm sure a lot of people have insu feel, feel health insurance coverage. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's very, very affordable here. So with regards to the ob doctors, doctors, uh, mm -hmm. how do you qualify them? Because you know naman other uh, Patients, they look kung sino yung doctors mm -hmm. na kasale or yeah. they get they will get involved too. So how yeah. do you uh, could say yung yung mga doctors nyo? How prepared are they? Parang how prepared? Okay, like I said, no, um, being very beside the UPPGH, mm -hmm. I'd like to say that our top doctors are a lot of them are even professors in mm -hmm. in medicine at the UP Philippine General Hospital. So. I think that's the number one hospital in terms of exposure, mm -hmm. uh, experience, you know? 
we have a doctor here who's a considered national scientist, no? And the younger ones, we have doctors who are very, very subspecialized, meaning like fertility is very, very specialized field. And a lot of these younger ones have uh, practiced abroad or trained abroad, so um, that's something we encourage with the younger doctors also, and we have that. Like, we have specialists who went to Mayo Clinic, so my hospital dito, my tie up Mayo Clinic. We have doctors that are Mayo Clinic, no? things mm -hmm. like that. So uh, those are what we bring to the table in terms of uh, the quality of our doctors. So your OB-GYN um, doctors, are, uh, how many are they here? How's the pool? Oh, uh, we have that statistic. There are more than, more than 30, more than 30, more than 30. active and visiting doctors. Yeah. Yeah, so that's quite a lot, uh, mm -hmm. considering we have about 300 doctors, so 10%. Mm -hmm. Census-wise, ilan yung percentage ng mga OB patients here? I'd say OB is about maybe just 15%, so there's there's a lot of room to grow. Oh. Um, considering our surgeries are already 25%, no, that's, mm -hmm. that's quite that's, yeah. quite big, no? one-fourth for case of surgery. OB, you'd think, would be even more common than, than <laughs> yes. surgical, right?